What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the next two figures from Unmatched Series 6 from AEW Jazzwares. And today we have the Luminaries Collection, Owen Hart, and Suited Brody Lee. So let's get right on into it. Alright, as you guys know, I'm going to start off with the accessories first. Owen, I think, comes with a Stampede Wrestling Championship. I'm not 100% sure. Do not hold me to that. Because... Owen was gone before I was even born, so I, I don't know too much about him, and that's just, that's all on me. But, Owen also comes with an alternate head, right here with this nice smiling head. It looks accurate, but it, it's kind of creepy, so I, I don't know how I feel entirely about it. But Mr. Brody Lee comes with... An AEW microphone, which there's a running joke that we get one of these, like, three times a set. If it'll focus. Yeah, you get the idea. We've seen a hundred of them. He comes with the rolled up papers that he would hit Evil Uno with. And he comes with the stack of papers that he would hit him with. So, and let's not forget the TNT title. This is the red and gold version, which he held and it's just a beautiful belt it's not a problem that this version of the belt is oversized because it matches Brody Lee's stature a little bit better than something a little smaller would you see how it scales very very well with him but let's get these accessories get them out of the way and we will get into the figures so we'll start with Brody Lee we already mentioned the TNT title this is the same head scan that we got with his unmatched series three figure. And let me just double check. Okay, I didn't know if that was a new crotch piece or not, but it is. As you see, this has the belt buckle molded on with the loops there and there. This has the buttoned areas. So that is a brand new sculpt. I'm not too sure no, okay, so the thighs and down, well, this area and down are the same as his unmatched three figure, but the crotch piece is all new, the torso, the midsection, all of that is brand new. He comes with a black tie, white undershirt, red suit, nice looking red suit, and... I don't know if these arms are reused from the announcers as I do not have those just sitting beside me. They are in my arena right now. But I'm not 100% sure. They kind of have a hard time like going down by his side entirely. This is about as good as it can get. So if that's going to be an issue for you, there you go. I really want the Chase version of this, which comes with the khaki pants and the navy, the navy blazer, and I can't remember the color of the vest. But... This looks really good. You guys know I'm a big component or a big advocate for suited figures and promo attire figures. And I just think we need more of those in the figure lines because we don't we really don't get enough representation of those. So I love stuff like this. This is just a nice red suit, same hairstyle as beforehand. You really can't go wrong with this figure. And before we get into Owen Hart, let's see how he scales with his Unmatched 3 release. So, the Unmatched 3 hair is brown, and the Unmatched 6 hair is black. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera there. But it's a completely different hair color. It's the same face, but the suited version is, in fact taller which is strange I wonder why that decision was made they know more than I do obviously but actually okay so this part here isn't reused this is either new or used from the announcers because there's no boot swivel on the original Brody figure so just a quick recap is this part is either new or reused, but it's not reused from Series 3. These legs are reused from Series 3. The head is reused. The whole upper body, except maybe the arms, are all brand new. And 
they look pretty good not gonna lie this this figure is very nice but let's get into owen hart i've never owned an owen hart figure in my collection so this is kind of strange for me let's go ahead and take this rubber band off that they use to hold up the title in the packaging oh also before before i get started on owen here the articulation on brody is so much better than i anticipated for a suited figure like he can kick that high obviously great articulation there let's see how far he can lean over yeah like this very good articulation for a, a suited figure definitely cannot recommend that figure enough but uh let's take a quick look at this sam stampede wrestling belt I don't even know if this is upside down or not because I do not know this belt whatsoever. But I was worried that this is going to be the same lower body as the Amazon exclusive two-pack Scorpio Sky, but it's not because look at that range of motion. We have never gotten that range of motion from AEW figures. It's just it just hasn't happened at all. And I don't know if I'm assuming this torso is from the ringside exclusive Owen Hart but I don't recognize it from other figures. The head that comes on the figure looks very, very good. The likeness is uncanny. The hair has like a, like a, a cheap blonde highlights color to it. Maybe that's just me. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have a Bret Hart figure to compare it to. I can't believe of all the figures I have, I do not own a single Bret Hart, which is absolutely wild. But, I mean, great articulation with the arms. You're going to get that from a figure that's just shirtless. Very good. Everything about this figure is very nice. I don't recall these white boots, except maybe these were brand new for the ringside exclusive. I didn't buy it. I don't know. Um, as far as this one goes, compared to the ringside exclusive, it comes with a head with a headband on it. It comes with the same exact belt that we got with Unmatched Series 6. It comes with a cloth jacket, which I do not know if it had any staining issues. I know they typically do. And it has this same gear design, but it is black tights. And the problem with a lot of wrestling is that a lot of figures have all black gear. So, I mean, not all black, but take it for example, like the Brody Lee is black and gray. And another one beside me right now is Buddy Matthews black and white so there's not much color in wrestling except for like specific people that's why i would pick this version over the ringside exclusive because i personally think it just it stands out more the night the red has a really nice pop to it we just need to wait for the day that we get a pink gear owen i don't know if it's going to happen it probably will one day but we'll just have to wait and see but I definitely recommend picking this one up instead of the ringside exclusive. That's just my personal opinion. As far as this Brody Lee goes, it's also an easy, easy pickup. I am actually a fan of both of these figures, and I did not know it. I knew I was going to like the Brody Lee. I didn't know I was going to care about the Owen Hart until I actually took it out of packaging. Because I have no attachment whatsoever to Owen Hart. And uh, it's... Honestly, the two very great figures, but that is going to be it for today. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and last but not least, take it easy. Thanks.